Hello, Professor. I'm Thomas Richards, and this is my YouTube presentation regarding the cogn cognitive models of aggression. What are the cognitive models of aggression? They are a study and collection of how we have organized the different reasons why people become aggressive. Um, to begin, let's start with social learning theory. Aggression can be watched or learned from other people. I know that um, I've seen that in my life. It's it's almost like the the age old, oh, in school this guy's a bully, so he, you assume that maybe he has a rough home life, which may or may not be true, but he may have learned that from a father, an uncle, a brother. Um, that is social learning theory. Um, maybe this person grew up in a rough environment. Moving on. Um, cognitive neo associationistic model. This one is about negative feelings and thinking patterns just building up on top of each other. So that, um, from my interpretation, I, I, I assumed that it was someone just being a pessimistic person about other people. So they assume the worst in others, and this makes them aggressive toward them. Um, which is very, it's, I wouldn't say, I, won't, I don't want to say reasonable, but if, it's a reasonable if so, then cognitively. Moving on to the generalist aggression model that it's influenced by set and setting, where you are in your mindset, in personal factors. I mean, I myself, I got into a fight at school because it just wasn't the day to say the wrong thing to me. So I think that would be a good example of that. It was looking back, it was very um, negligible. And any other day, I could have just let it go, but not that day. So I believe that that is an explanation of that. Hostile attribution bias. The hostile attribution bias cognitive model. This one is about just a... Maybe you're in a situation or setting that triggers you and you interpret your surroundings, what someone says, what someone does as hostile. So you become hostile preemptively is what I took the hostile attribution bias as. Um, essentially a preemptive strike. Um, which also, I mean... makes sense but it could not potentially not be accurate um which is the danger with a lot of these uh self-control and aggression low self-control is attributed to potential aggression as i mean everyone experiences trying times especially with other people so with all of us dealing with that, those with lower self-control are more likely to act out on their feelings immediately. Um, that's very straightforward. Uh, moral disengagement. Um, moral disengagement is someone who may use... It's, it can be one of two things, interestingly enough. To me, it could be someone who just forgoes morality entirely or it's like in a sense that like just letting letting that concept go in their life or um, someone who uses some basis of morality to justify their aggressive actions. 
Um, that was my interpretation of it. Um, and it makes sense. I, I definitely feel like I learned something studying this. Bullying and cognitive factors. Um, this one I would, I would, I would describe as a, what goes around comes around or someone who is bullied is more likely to bully. So hurt people, hurt people sort of thing. Um, Hmm. It's very, it's very simple. A lot of these at the base value are very simple. They're very, but I mean, humans realistically are very simple creatures. I, I think that we tend to make things more complex than they already are. Um, moving on. The cognitive behavioral interventions. Um, there are several, really, okay. Therapy. Essentially, cognitive behavioral interventions can be summed up as therapy. To me, therapy is just one big word for cognitive, or just one word for cognitive behavioral interventions, um, from my interpretation. Um, they allow someone to talk out their thoughts, which may be inaccurate, as we have gone over with someone else, and and allow them to use them as a mirror to to intervene in a thought process that is not helpful for them um i feel like most people probably should would would get benefit from a from therapy or a cognitive behavioral intervention in some in some aspect um to summarize, these cognitive models help us understand why people are more aggressive or can be aggressive in certain scenarios or situations, I should say. Um, and what could set people off? To me, this is important because I want to be a law enforcement officer. So knowing A, how to keep myself safe and B, how to keep the public safe is something that I need to know and if i can predict or put myself in scenarios where i will not set off someone's aggression then that can be a win-win so that's how i plan to use this information in my life and in hopefully my career thank you for your time professor and have a good night